Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. So in this result, we have a matrix space XD. We have A, which is subset of capital X. They have told us if there exists a sequence, there exists a sequence, okay, I'm considering here X1, X2, X3, and so on of distinct points of A. This is a very important thing. We have a sequence Xn of distinct points of A converging to point P then we have to prove that P belongs to A dash. That means we have to prove that P is a limit point of A. I have written already the given information. What is the given information Xn? I have considered Xn be a sequence of distinct points of A converging to point P getting and what we have to prove? We have to prove that P belongs to A dash. That means simply we have to prove that P is a limit point of A. Let me mention it here. That is to prove that P is a limit point of A. Okay, so you are already familiar with the definition of limit point. Same definition we will try to bring at the end. Okay, so obviously we start with the given information. What we have? We have, okay, let me mention we have. What is the information we have? Xn converges to P. So you are familiar with the definition of convergent sequence. Same definition I am going to use. So let me write here. So therefore, for given R greater than 0. Actually, in the definition of convergent sequence, we start with for given epsilon greater than 0. But instead of epsilon, I am considering R. Since what is meaning of epsilon? Epsilon is a very small positive real number. R has the same meaning. So that's why we will consider for given R greater than 0. So there exists n belongs to set of natural number such that d of xn comma p less than r i will write since instead of epsilon we have taken r and for all n greater than or equal to capital n okay so distance of xn from p is less than its radius okay see let me show it here so p is a point we have if you consider open ball with center P radius R getting open ball center P radius R distance of Xn from P suppose Xn is here a like distance of Xn from P is less than the radius of that ball that means Xn lies inside a ball so therefore we can write so therefore Xn belongs to ball with center P radius R for all n greater than or equal to capital N okay so we have some space let us use okay Yes, but, but Xn belongs to A for all N belongs to set of natural number. Okay, I already mentioned Xn is a sequence of points of A. Xn is a sequence of points of A. That means all terms of sequence Xn are elements of A. So therefore Xn belongs to A. What it means Xn belongs to this ball. Xn belongs to this A. Therefore, Xn belongs to intersection of these two sets. So, let me mention here, therefore, therefore, Xn belongs to that ball and A. So, it will be in intersection. But the problem is that here we have a condition. This is true for N greater than or equal to capital N. And this here, it is true for every N. So, I should carry this condition, getting so that restriction which we have, I should carry it there. So, therefore, I should write this is true for all N greater than or equal to capital N, right? See, uh, therefore, what can we say? Xn belongs to the intersection. So, as you can see in this diagram, so we have this set A, we have this ball, getting So, there will be some intersection and all those Xn lies in intersection, getting but see, as I told you earlier, Xn is a sequence of distinct points, okay? Xn is a sequence of distinct points. So, therefore, point P can be repeat, okay? Can be repeat or can appear at only for one time, not more, more than one, since Xn is a sequence of distinct points. So, let me mention here. Here, here, Xn is a sequence of distinct points xn is a sequence of distinct points so therefore if you remove point p if you remove point p from the ball it doesn't matter much okay so again xn will lie in intersection 
for infinitely many n for infinitely many n okay we can write it because xn is a sequence of distinct points suppose point p is appear okay in that uh, terms of sequence then it can appear only for one time so if you remove point p then also there will be infinitely many points of that sequence which will lie in intersection getting so that's why we can write it what it means xn belongs to intersection that means basically we want to say that intersection is non empty so let me mention here therefore open ball with center p radius r minus singleton p intersection a is not equal to phi okay not equal to phi this is true for every r greater than 0 since initially we have uh, started with for given r that means for every r it is true getting so therefore what can we say are you familiar with this definition yes this is definition of limit point so therefore let me mention therefore p is a limit point of a since this is definition of limit point of uh, okay so p is a limit point of a so therefore what can we say therefore p belongs to a dash so we started with given information and finally we prove that p is in a dash so in this way we prove this result make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye